loves what's up and welcome back once again to my channel this is everything health with nastera here we get to discuss different topics related to health today we're going to be discussing how to calculate your relation dates you know your safe days when trying to avoid pregnancy and your fertile days when trying to get pregnant with irregular cycles so what do i mean by irregular cycles irregular cycles and irregular periods are two different things and i don't know why people always misunderstand them irregular periods means you're getting your period irregularly maybe this month you get your period and the next time you get your period will be like next three months or next six months that's irregular period but when i say irregular cycles i mean you're getting your periods every month but the cycle length varies this month you're getting like 23 day cycle next month is 28 day cycle another month is 24 day cycle another month is 25 day cycle that is irregular cycles okay and this video we are, i'm going to be explaining how you can calculate your ovulation day when you have irregular cycles it can be tricky but it's a very simple step okay now let's get right into the video so how you can know that you have irregular cycles is when you calculate your menstrual cycle for at least a period of six months or six different cycles and you're getting different range like this month you're getting 23 next month is 24 another month is 28 and all of that so you need to do this you need to calculate it for at least six months or six cycles that's why you need to learn how to calculate your menstrual cycle first then you track your period get a jotter or something and be writing it down every month you calculate you write down the number you get do this for at least six cycles or for at least six months then if you're getting different ranges then that means your cycle is irregular and this video is for you i also have a video for people with regular cycles i'm going to leave a link to that video somewhere above and i also have a video where i explain how to calculate your menstrual cycle if you don't know how to calculate you need to learn so you can calculate yours and know if yours is regular or irregular so i'm going to use this lady's cycle as an example so for the month of january this lady had a cycle length of 28 days for the month of February, her cycle length was 28 days again. For the month of March, her cycle length was 24 days. For the month of April, it got 27 days. For the month of May, she got 25 days. For the month of June, she got 24 days. So she calculated her menstrual cycle for a period of six months and got different menstrual cycle lengths. That is what you need to do to know if yours is also regular or irregular. Just calculate for a period of six months and then find out if it's irregular. So for this woman, obviously her cycle is irregular because she's having different cycle lengths per month so this simply means she started calculating from december so from december to january this was the cycle and she got 28 days from january to february she started counting again and got 28 days from february to march she got 24 days from march to april she got 27 days from april to may she got 25 days from may to june she got 20 four days and this is july so now she's trying to find out how to calculate for the month of july to find out when her ovulation day is going to be to know her safe days and her fertile days now this is how you calculate your ovulation days with irregular cycles all you have to do is to look for the least number here the least cycle length amongst all of them is what you have 28 days, 28, 24, 27, 25, 24. So what is the lowest day? That is 24. Then you bring it out. 24. You subtract it by what? 18. So the least number you subtract it by 18 and the highest number you subtract it by 11. So this is the least number, 24. You subtract it by 18. What do you get? 6 you look for the highest number the highest number is 18 you bring it out again 18 you subtract it by 11 what do you get you get 17 yeah 
what that simply means is that her fertile period is going to start from cycle day 6 to cycle day 17. Let's come back to the July calendar. Let's say her period started on the 2nd of July. Remember, it can start any day. It can even start on the 31st. You just keep counting. But we are going to use 2nd of July as an example. So let's say she got her period on the 2nd of July. And this is day 1 of the menstrual cycle, okay? And then the period lasted for day 2, day 3, day 4, 4 days or 5 days. Then you keep counting. That's how you count the menstrual cycle. This is day 6, day 7, day 8, day 9, day 10, day 11, day 12, day 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Let's see her July cycle length stopped at 27 and she got her next period on 29th. So cycle length is usually the first day of your menstrual period to the last day before your next period. So she got her next period on 29th, then you stop counting on 28th. And her cycle length happens to be 27 days for the month of July. That makes it July 27 days. So we said her fertile period is going to start from cycle day 6 to cycle day 17. So when is cycle day 6 here? Yeah? This is cycle day 6. So this is when her fertile period starts. Cycle day 6. And then the fertile period ends on cycle day 17. This is cycle day 17. So it simply means from here all the way, all the way, all the way to 18th of July is going to be her fertile period. So she's going to do this with other, all other menstrual cycle. Okay, even for the next month, it's still going to be from cycle day 6 to cycle day 17. From next year, two months, cycle day 6 to cycle day 17. Next three months, cycle day 6 to cycle day 17. So for every month, she's going to have it at the back of her mind that her fertile period is going to start from cycle day 6 to cycle day 17. So you need to calculate your menstrual cycle for at least a period of six months, know the different ranges, and calculate this and get your fertile period. That is a simple way to calculate your ovulation date. But then I also have an advice I'm going to give women with irregular cycle. And that is why using this calendar method, also try to use ovulation test kits. Okay? It's very affordable. You can get it from the market, especially when you're trying to conceive. So how to use the ovulation test kit is very simple. Okay, all you need to do is to use it to test your urine every day. Like, let's say your period lasted for a period of five days, then you give yourself two days, and two days after, you start testing with the ovulation test strip every day. Okay, this, the test strip have two lines. One, which is very dark, right from the beginning, that line is going to remain dark. That is the control line, okay? And the other one is going to be faint. So the line you're going to be focusing on is the faint line. Okay, you keep checking every day. So whenever that faint line becomes dark, like very dark, or even darker than the control line, that means your LH level is very high. LH simply means luteinizing hormone. It means your luteinizing hormone is high and you're going to ovulate, you're going to release an egg in the next 12 to 24 hours. And that would be the right time to have intercourse with your partner to achieve pregnancy. So once that faint line becomes dark, you start having intercourse have it that day the next day the next two days whatever way that is okay with you but that is going to be the period you're going to release an egg and it's going to be very effective for you so if you're trying to conceive it's very important for you to get these strips okay you use it to check your fertile period if you're trying to conceive and you have irregular cycles this is my advice for you too. while using this calendar method make sure you have an ovulation test strip this video is not sponsored by any of the brands I'm showing. You can get whatever brand that is okay by you. All I'm saying is just to get an ovulation test strip and use it for yourself. Now you've learned how to calculate your ovulation dates, you know your safe days and your fertile days for women with regular cycle and women with irregular cycle. Our next video for people trying to conceive is going to be how to get a baby boy or a baby girl if you're looking for a specific 
agenda with this we come to the end of the video if you enjoyed this video if you found it informative please give it a huge thumbs up if you have any question leave a comment in the comment section and i'm going to respond if you want me to explain more on something just let me know and i'm going to respond if you even want me to assist you in calculating yours feel free i'm going to assist you in calculating yours if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe and join our little family i promise i'm going to be putting out more informative videos like this this is it for now see you in my next one bye